the uh, amount of energy it takes to push uh, the vehicle down the road and resistance at the road surface between the tire and the road surface to, uh, to move it along. And there are things that we can do as tire makers uh, from a design standpoint or you from a fleet standpoint on what you choose to put on your vehicles that can make that roll resistance higher or lower and of course lower improves your vehicle economy. Um, so the slide we always tend to show whenever we talk about tires and fuel economy, people always want to know the, the contributions of the individual wheel positions, steer drive, and trail. Uh, for a, uh, a standard single trailer, tractor trailer rig going across the highway, um, and these numbers vary depending on the loads, depending on the types of tires, and, and, and so forth. But as a rule of thumb, the, the, the steer tires contribute about 15% to the overall roll resistance of the vehicle. Drive tires somewhere around 44% because they're, they're, there's more of them and they're uh, typically a deeper tread depth, at least when they're new. And trailers, 41%. And then for, uh, for um, pulling two trailers, where you have uh, fewer drive tires and more trailer tires, the percentages get shuffled a little bit. But I think the important thing to note is that the steer tires have a relatively small contribution, and the drive and trailer tires together are the, the larger contribution. So. Uh, that's where we tend to, to put our efforts in, in uh, making tires that are lower roll resistance and, and give you better fuel time. 